For the past few weeks, I've been trying to stay updated on what's going on with Jamie Foxx. I have been following his career since his, since his um, sketch comedy days. And that is all the way back to In Living Color, okay, back when he played Wanda and all of that. Things kids shouldn't have been watching, but we were watching <laughs> the 90s. Um, but anyways, um, right on to him getting into TV and film. From the Jamie Foxx show, I've seen every episode, um, to the movie he did with Mike Epps, Bait, which didn't do very well in theaters, I don't think. Uh, but I used to watch, it's one of those movies that you watch simply because you like the performance of the actors and it's funny. And then... Um, you know, he went to do some really notable movies that I love, like, um, what do you got here? Jarhead, Any Given Sunday, Collateral, Soul, uh, with my two favorite movies he's done being Ray and Django. You know, and in the most recent updates, I found an article here via Yahoo. According to reports, Jamie Foxx's friends and family are preparing for the worst following his medical emergency. Last month, while in Atlanta filming his upcoming film, Back in action with co-star Cameron Diaz, the beloved actor suffered a medical condition offset. Fox's family has not shared what exactly has happened to the actor, but has been offering updates indicating his condition is improving. Now, what's alarming to me about this paragraph is Jamie Foxx is one of those um, celebrities that every once in a while he lets you in on his social media, what's going on with his life. You know, like whether he's playing basketball or whether he is introducing a new artist or, or a new movie that he's doing or just a day-to-day thing. Sometimes he updates, you know, for him to be as big of a star as he is, he does that. So the fact that he has not, uh, you know, posted a picture or done a video on social media, uh, you know, letting his fans know that he's doing okay for the ones that are worried about him is pretty concerning from my opinion. Okay. I'll go ahead and continue. Despite the word of his condition improving, Jamie Foxx's condition remains in an alarming concern as doctors continue to monitor the actor. The lack of information and general updates have led to theorize about Foxx's condition. One report said that Foxx's condition was dire when he entered the hospital April 12th and noted an, unarmed, an unnamed source saying, but he wouldn't be in the hospital this long if, they, if he was anything close to okay. All right, which basically was what I was thinking. 30 days in the hospital, no update. That's, that's, that's very concerning. His friends and family are hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst as they should. You know, I'm hoping that he has a speedy recovery. Um, the man has always kept himself up in shape, you know, especially for him being as old as he is. He's always uh, looked like he was in pretty good shape. And another thing about Jamie is, you know, from what I'm hearing is that he suffered from high blood pressure, which is a you know, a big time killer in America, especially amongst black men, you know. Um, so, yeah, all we can do is just um, send positive energy, pray for him, whatever, you know, your faith is um, that he recovers. You know, I'm usually not the type to really, you know, be all over a celebrity like that, to be honest with you. Um, but when it's a celebrity that you've, you know, followed your whole career and you're a fan of them, the stand up comedy the the movies the acting the singing the piano playing you know the all the entertainment they provided you know it's you know you pay attention I did the same thing with Kobe and I wasn't even a Lakers fan but you know uh, you get it I don't want to bring up Kobe during, <laughs> during this video but uh, we're hoping that Jamie lives to tell the story um, because I think that he is um, I think he's a legend 